Hi guys, what's up? I think you are well by the grace of Almighty. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty. Welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn with Sultan Joy. So today we shall discuss English reading skills. So let me introduce at first. I am Mama Sultan Mia, lecturer, 36 BCS, Department of English, Shwed Bulbul Government College, Habna. So today's lecture, what shall we discuss today? We shall discuss English reading skills and this lecture is for honors frustrated students and the course code is 21101 and the topic is, I mean what shall we discuss today? The topic is matching word meaning from column A to column B and contextual clues for identifying meaning that is very important for English reading skills okay and this is lecture number two so have a look at this so here are two columns you see this is column a and this is column b and he, there are many words here i mean the here the tables there are 10 words we will have to find out the meaning from the column b first is incredible so incredible means what we know incredible means not believable unbelievable things that is called incredible so where is unbelievable things here the first is having bends is the meaning Incredible means the having bends, no, a sudden break, no, speak againest, no. So ultimately here you see number 8, not believable. So incredible means not believable. And the number 2, angular. You see angular means uh, something like angle, okay, or the bends that is called the angular. So angular should be a sudden break. Number 3, manipulate. What do you mean by the manipulate actually? Manipulate means doing something by hand. So what should be the answer from the column B? It will be moved by hand. Number four, audible. Audible, we know it very well. That means one can be heard. That is audible. So where is the meaning of the audible from column B? Number nine, able to be heard. And number five, relocate. We know location means a place. So relocate means to find out a new place. It is very easy. And number five, move to a new place that is called relocate. Number six, mobilize. You know, mobilize means to accelerate something, to speed up something. So, mobilize means what? Number seven, move into action that is mobilize. Number seven, pedestrian. You know, pedestrian means walker. That means one who walks on the streets. He is called pedestrian. So, ultimately, the answer should be one who is on foot. He is called a pedestrian. And number eight, contradict. You see, contradict means not agreeable. Okay, make differences. That is called the contradict. So, contradict means speak against. Number nine, abrupt. You see, abrupt means sudden. Number two, a sudden break. So, a sudden break is the real answer. Number ten, sub arb. You know, arb, urban means town. Urbanization means to the process of urbanization to process of making town to process of making a city so suburban means under town not the full city okay so the answer should be below or outside the city number six so in this way actually you can increase your vocabulary i mean to understanding power or perhaps the meaning of a word so have a look at this the next slides the next slide is also shows the same things number 11 vivid you see vivid means very noticeable very conspicuous one can easily see easily see that is vivid so what should be the answer answer is easy to see you see here easy to see okay and number 12 attraction attractions means to be attracted with something so what should be the answer here you see number 18 full toward so it should be the answer full toward popular means very common the number 19 liked by people that is called popular and disrupt disrupt is to breach to break something into a part by part that is called the disrupt answer is break up or apart that means to break down manufacture means to produce by hand that is called a manufacture make by hand you see uh, number 20 is the right answer number 16 evacuate evacuate means you know uh, evacuate means to vacate something okay to make empty okay 
So, if acute, what should be the right answer? Leave a place empty. Number 17, audition. Audition means a certain time to be heard. So, a time to be heard that is called the audition. Automobile, it means the vehicles or vehicles which moves on by itself. So, number 13, match or uh, moves by itself. Evidence, evidence means proof. Okay. So, seen with the eyes this is called the evidence ultimately the signature signature is the marking marking things so the mark of identity that is called the signature it is very important to learn more and more words as you are the students of the first year you will have to increase your vocabulary so that your understanding power so that your speaking power so that your reading power everything will be increased so be careful about the learning of the new words in a different way and these slides you will be learned using some contextual clues by find out the meaning okay so use contextual clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word write it in write it on the line so this is column a and this is column b so first of all you will have to read the line and after reading the line you'll have to find out the right answer from the column b the first in math class jane first the note to sarah so here are the two girls who who were in the math class jane and sarah the two girls so in the math class jane passed the note to sarah discreetly so what do you mean the discreetly or what does it mean it's jane passed her note to sarah in a very secretive way okay so what should be the right answer from the column B in a secretive way? And number two, the thirsty man who is yearned for drinking water, who is called the thirsty man, yearned, that means strongly wished for, for drink of water. So the thirsty man yearned for a drink of water. What does the actual meaning of the sentence? That means the thirsty man was wishing for a drink of water. You see number B, strongly wished for. The miner is struck a new load of coal. What is the meaning of the sentence? The miner, miner means one who works in a mine. And struck means hit forcibly. That is called the struck. A new load. Load means a vein of metal ore on the earth. And coal means, you know, the coal is very easy. So, a miner means a person actually who works in a, who works in a ore. And obviously, he is a lever and a lever must firstly will struck something. So the answer should be vein of mineral ore. Number four, all this didn't hamper him one bit. That means he did not face any diseases. Okay. So what should be the right answer from the ne next column? Hold back or adversely affect. The explorers were running short and provisions. Explorer means one who explores. One who finds the new places, what does it mean? Running short on provisions. You see, trust is necessities. Pirates, that means the bandits, are caught red handed. They are caught red handed with the contraband. You see, contraband means the illegal imported or exported goods. So they are they are caught in red handed with the contraband. So what, the, what does it mean? This means the stolen goods. And number seven, without shorts, the animals are susceptible to disease. The animals are susceptible to disease. That means the animals are very prone to be diseased. So what should be the right answer from the next column? You see, susceptible means uh, very vulnerable to attack. Number eight, this is only a facsimile. You see the facsimile. Facsimile means uh, copy. So this is a copy and the real gem is in the safe. That means so here flexibly means look alike or copy the tiny infant infant means child the tiny infant means very newborn child remained in the neonatal world so uh, hospital word neonatal word means newborn child word so the tiny infant remained in the neonatal world means newborn and number 10 the tornado you see it's the name of a storm there are many storms the tornado threatened to annihilate the small town. Annihilate means to destroy. Okay, the tornado threatened to destroy the small town. So here, annihilate means destroy. Number eleven. Unlike other felines, 
lions live in groups. So felines means what? Felines means catish. I mean the member of the cat family. You see lion, the tiger, they are the member of the cat family. Panther, they are also member of the cat family. So unlike other felines, the lions live in groups. So felines means member of the cat family. Number 12. Dad said nothing but just nodded affirmatively. That means dad was silent but he nodded. That means he gave his positive outlook. He gave his consent to something. Nodded means to shake the hands. So but just nodded affirmatively it means in a positive way. So in this way actually you should guess the inner meaning. You should guess the underlying meaning of any sentences so that you can write at your own way okay so in a reading skills you will be given two passes that that is so long so you will be find out many sentences that is very uncommon many words that is very uncommon but but don't be frustrated try to understand the meaning the inner meaning the underlying meaning whenever you find out the very uncommon words try to elaborate it on your own way so that a uh, underlying meaning will be created and after this you will be able to write down at your own answer so in the next slides you will be given a short passage and after the passage i mean some contextual clues here and after reading this three or four lines passage you will be able to answer the questions that will be very helpful for your reading skills question and answer sessions okay so i am reading here a botanical garden that means a plant's garden is an area of flora in which plants are grown cheaply for scientific educational or aesthetic purposes so a botanical garden is established for what established for scientific purposes established for educational purposes established for aesthetic purposes they usually surround an institution so they are well fenced in such a university or museum okay so it can be found on museums ground on the premises of museum on the premises of university or any other institutions so we have read the this four lines paragraph and we will be able to answer the next five questions the first question is botany is a study of what you see botany is the study of plants and number two, a synonym for plants is what? Flora. Number three, a word that means pleasing to the senses is. You see the second line. That means a botanical garden is established for aesthetic purposes. It means it senses beauty to the ear. So a word, word that means pleasing to the senses is aesthetic. And number four. Our university may have botanical gardens for the purpose of what? You see, a botanical garden is established for educational, for aesthetic, for scientific purposes. So, a university may have botanical gardens for educational purposes. And number five, true false. All botanical gardens are open to the public. No, it is absolutely not. All botanical gardens are not open because some of the botanical gardens are very restricted. You can't enter without the permissions. So, the right answer is false. In this way, actually, you can increase your understanding power because reading is nothing but the power of understanding. No more today. Hope you will be benefited and it will help for you. Thanks and best of luck. See you in the next class. If you like my video, then subscribe my channel. And if you already subscribed, then thank you. That's all.